Hey, they're good looking. Listen, stronger glutes equals a stronger total body. We need glute strength to be able to do almost any movement pattern that we move our hip or our knee joint. So that's walking, running, sprinting, jumping, squatting, lunging. All of that requires glute strength. So in this workout, we are solely focusing on that important area of the body. Now, there's a few ways you can use this workout. You can obviously do it as a standalone, or you can add it before or after cardio workout. Or if glute strength is an important goal of yours, tack it on after an existing strength workout, performing it one to two times a week. All right, for your tools, I'd love for you to grab what you consider are a pair of heavy dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 15s, chair or bench, as well as a booty band. Let's go get warmed up. All right, we're gonna get ourselves warmed up and then move right into the workout, okay? Let's start with our feet about shoulder width apart, hands are light behind the ears, hip hinge, soften the knees, come forward for what we call a good morning. But for in our cases, it's gonna work into the hamstrings. Again, we're hinging from that hip area so that spine stays nice and long. So we really just have four movement patterns that we're moving through and they're the four most important ones for the glutes. The glutes act on the hip joint, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on. You'll get your knees moving a little bit as well. Last four, three, two, one more. And one, let's take the feet wide, shoulder width or maybe even wider, toes are turned out, sit your bum rear for what we call a sumo squat, which activates a little bit more booty. Coming down as low as it feels comfortable for you, or ideally thighs parallel to the ground. Now this workout is gonna be done a little different than how I normally do workouts. We're doing two sets of 12 reps. So I'm gonna be counting. Um, let's hope that I can count, <laughs> as most of you know. Personal trainers, we have a tough time counting past three, but I'll do my best. <laughs> but I also want to cue you, so that's usually why, why we uh, lose count as trainers, because we're too busy babbling about your form, and then we're like, what number are we on? Three? Meanwhile, everybody's yelling, nine! <laughs> so I will do my best. Here you go, let's three more here. Two. And one, let's get the hips activated. Just mirror me for me, soften this knee, bend this one, abduct away. We'll be doing a variation of this at the end. A really good little side hip, side booty burnout. But for our purposes here, we're warming up into that glute, gluteus medius, getting it ready because it's gonna help stabilize a lot of the movements we're doing. Let's do two more. Last one. Other leg, softness in the knee, bend this guy at 90, flex your foot. Here we go. Try not to hold on to anything. I want you to focus on working your balance as well. If you by all means need something close by, just to know it's there, go for it. But try not to hold on to it, especially for the full set. Last four. One more. All right, let's take yourself onto all fours for me. Plug those wrists under the shoulders, fingers spread, flex your left foot, press the heel up to the ceiling, lower down. When we lower down, the knee's actually not gonna hit your mat. So you're just pressing up, really focusing on pushing the heel up towards your ceiling while keeping that neutral spine. So let's really brace through the abs. Four more. Now on this one, bring it up, hold it up, now straighten the leg and then bend it. So as mentioned, we will be working hamstrings too. Usually when you do work glutes, your hammies are getting some work as well. So we're just warming those guys up. Last four, three, two, and one, knee under hip, other leg, flex the foot, pressing the heel up to your ceiling. Again, brace into that ab region, not letting that low back hyperextend, feeling the movement through the glute. So now the right side. Four more and we hold it up. Here's four, three, two, 
three, two, one, and hold. Straighten the leg. Here we go. Foot is flexed. Last four, three, two, and one. Woo! Come on up. All right, we're starting with a single leg RDL, Romanian deadlift. We're gonna keep one toe still on the ground though for some balance because I want you to load yourself up. So just mirror me. You're gonna take this leg and just kind of give yourself a little bit of a balance, what I call a kickstand. Dumbbells in front of you. Now, excuse me, pull the shoulders back and down and tighten up in that mid back area. Pushing the bum rearward. Let's take it down for that RDL. Drive up, push through the glutes all the way. One, here we go, we got 12. Gaze is up, two, take a look at my spine. It's neutral, three, I've got that hip hinge like we learned in warm up. Nice, slow and controlled. Little bit of weight in that kickstand leg, but everything is in the working leg. Majority of that work, and again, you'll feel your hamstrings for sure. And then soften the knee to get into the glutes. Last four. One more. Release that foot, kick down the other, tighten up that core. Here we go, coming down. So we have two sets on each leg. I usually find that second set, the hamstrings get nice and warm. I can go down a little deeper. You might feel the same. Last four. How are those shoulder blades? You still pinching them a bit? Good. So we got to do upper back here with this deadlift. Two more. One more. Other leg. Here we go. Here's our second set. I see we can take it a bit deeper, but not rounding the back. It's only coming through that hip area. Let's go. Soft grip with the dumbbells. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Whew. All right. Things are starting to get warm in the lower body now. How are you doing? <laughs> Here we go. Pull those shoulders back and down. Brace through the core region and forward hip hinge. Push through the glute. Come all the way up. Make sure you're breathing. Final four. One more. All right. Moving into a Bulgarian split squat. Probably one of the better ways to really recruit the glutes. Now we're placing our foot up on a bench or a chair. An easy way to get set up is to actually just sit right back on your heel and then reach that leg forward and we should be in a good enough distance. From here we hip hinge forward, that part's important, and come down and drive up. Now listen, if that's not where you're at right now with your fitness journey, forget the chair, okay? You hip hinge, the back foot will stay on the ground and proceed. All right, I'm gonna hold on to both dumbbells. You can go one dumbbell or no dumbbells. So 
If you can get set up the way I just showed you, great. Otherwise, if you're a pro like me, <laughs> that was dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> you can just place your laces on that back bench or chair. Let's go hip hinge and take her down. One, whoo, you should feel that glute right away. Two, three. So hip hinge is gonna help us get this a little bit more glute involvement. Last four. One more. Oh, that was a big time struggle for me. <laughs> All right, other side. Here we go. Laces are gonna rest on your chair bench. Hip hinge, let's go. Last four, here's four, breathe, three, two, one more, one, all right, <laughs> one more, here we go, back laces up, three, two, one, hinge and go for one, push through that heel, drive all the way up, two, Front leg is straightening. Three. Shoulder blade still pinched. Four. Keep that posture. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Final four on this leg. Come on. Four. Push. Three. Straighten. Two. Breathe. <laughs> One. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> All right, other leg, and we're moving on. Whoo, baby. Hip hinge. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to go down as deep as you can. A lot of core is being used too with this whole workout because we're working single side or what we call unilateral. Whew. Two more. One more. Oh, wow. Whew. So when you're working single leg, more core in addition to working the kinks out on the more dominant, less dominant leg that we all have. All right, using the elevated surface, let's get that booty band around the top of the knees. We have elevated glute bridges. You can have your heels resting on the top or on the edge of your chair. Arms are down by the side. Be aware though that you're not pushing with your arms. From here, Let's extend the right leg up, just using the left hamstring and glute. Press up for one, good. Now the knees are being pulled apart too, so that we work the hips as well. Three, four, think about driving down with that left foot. Six, there's no doubt you're gonna feel your hamstring. Seven, but I want you to really feel the glute, maybe even palpitate it with that left hand. Eight, see if we can feel it fired up. Nine, I feel mine fired up. 10, even though I do feel hamstring. 11, and 12, whoo. All right, oh, I gotta pull my chair closer. Here we go, other side, three, two, one. And drive up, one. Pull the knees apart, two. Let's activate that outer hip while we're also doing this. Three, four, good. So the top range, Five is where all the glutes, all the good stuff happens. Six, so don't let your bum rest on the mat too much. Seven, breathe for eight, last four. One more, 
All right, here we go. We've got the other side, last round. Remember, don't push off with those hands. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive up. And again, if you're not sure if you're working your glute, give it a feel. <laughs> and if you're not, fair enough, get rid of the chair, place your heel close to the bum and on the ground and do it that way. Last three, two, one more, one, whoo. All right, last set, let's go. One, oh, my chair keeps moving on me. Couldn't be because I'm pushing it, am I? <laughs> three, it's my chair's fault, not my fault. <laughs> Four, five, same as when something goes wrong with your computer, right? It's never our fault. This is a damn computer. Here we go, last four. Here's four. Three, two, breathe it, one more. One, Whew. keep that booty band on. Final drill, you need to hold on to something so it can be a wall or back a chair in this case. All right, booty bands above the knees. Remember what we did in warm up? We're doing that again, but this time I want you to think about coming out on a 45, okay? So softness in this knee, 45. Now make sure you're leading with the heel though, not the toe. Yeah, perfect, 12 reps, let's go. One, hold on to your chair or wall. Two, three, lean away from the leg, going away if you can. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. You'll feel the stabilizing leg, no doubt about it. Eleven and twelve. Other side. Here we go. So we're going out on a bit of a 45, so not directly to the side and definitely never in front if you're trying to hit your glutes, or in this case, your glute med and your upper glute. Toe in, press out. One, two. Try to keep constant tension. Three. Stabilizing knees soft. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One more. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to do a ladder now. So if you did my tricep workout a couple weeks ago, um, you'll recognize this drill. So we've got five reps of what we just did, and then we'll kick the leg out on the sixth rep and hold it there for five seconds, and we're laddering down from there. So don't worry, I'll talk you through it. So let's just do five, okay? We know it now, here we go. Here's five, and four, three, two, one. Now hold it back and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, now four reps, go. Here we go, go four, that's it. Three, two, one. Go back out and hold it for four. Three, you feel this side? Two, one, bring it down, we got three. Here's three, and two, and one. Go back out, hold it right there for three, two, one, bring it in, give me two, go two, one. Two, go out, hold two. One, two, here we go, give me one. Woo give me one, hold, breathe, and release. Woo, hey, uh-huh, all right. Other side. <laughs> all right, so we start with 12, or sorry, five, and then we hold, okay? Game face is on, five reps, go, five. Four, and in that 45 still. Three, leading with that heel. Two, one. Now we go out here and we hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, we go for four, no rest. Come on, four, three, two, one. Now we go out, we hold for four, three, two, one. Bring it in, three, go, three, 
two, one, bring it out, hold here for three. Woo, knee soft, two, one, bring it in, two reps, come on, one, two, take it out, hold, bring it in, one rep, and hold, and release, woo baby, all right, get rid of your chair, keep that tube, woo -hoo. grab one dumbbell, this is our last drill, heels are close to the bum, we're going back to those bridges, this time banded and weighted, huh, good times, right, all right, so you should be able to feel your heels with your fingers, so just make sure those heels are close enough, we've got lightness in the toes, most of it is being pushed into the heel, Hold the dumbbell really close down to your thighs. Your glute takes the extra weight, not into the ribs. Here we go, drive the glutes up for one, two, three. Now we're going to 12, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze the booty, 10, two more. 11, 12, rest. All right, now we're laddering down on this one. I know I didn't really give you much um, information for this last drill, did I? <laughs> for a reason. All right, let's do 11 reps, go. 11, knees apart, feet apart. 10, nine, bum just barely touches your mat or doesn't touch at all. Seven, makes it harder, not touching. Six, so you gauge. Five. Dumbbells are right down there, low on the hips. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, this is our 10 count. Let's do it, go. 10, breathe, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, here we go, number nine. Let's do this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Woo, glutes are burning. Three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Eight reps, do it. Go eight, seven. Six, keep those knees apart. Last three, breathe. Two, one, oh boy. Okay, lucky number seven. Ready, let's do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, whoo, number seven, did not feel too lucky. <laughs> All right, we got six reps, and go. Six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, rest. It's just a little rest. Five reps, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, release, four reps, go, four, three, get those glutes up high, come on, two, one, whew, all right, three reps, go, really bridge high, three, two, one, rest, two reps, one, and two, rest, last rep, one, whoo, baby, all right, let's take that booty band off, oh my goodness, bring the knees into my into your chest, oh yeah, you can rock the knees side to side if that's what makes you feel good, or hold them steady, <clears throat> we're going to finish off just with a couple of stretches, <clears throat> and then if you want a bit more, if you're on YouTube, you can check out all the different videos I have. I've got one suggested at the end of this workout. If you're on over 50 fitness and enjoying this workout ads free, my goodness, you can choose and filter if you want to do an upper body workout now or cardio or by intensity or by time. 
Feet on the ground, right leg crosses completely over the left. Bring the knees up, and then from here, if you're able to, you're gonna come underneath and grab onto the top of that left knee. If that's not available to you, you'll just grab onto the top of the right then. But you wanna to try to bring the knees in towards the chest. Back of the neck is long, feeling that stretch in that right glute now. And then just try to relax everything else. Release it, let's do the left side, pull in again, hands can come on top of that left leg or if you're able to, coming right under and on that right thigh, or right shin, pardon me. Oh, this side's a little tighter. Are you encountering differences on your sides of glutes too? And then into a seated position. We'll do a forward fold because we did work the hamstrings. So back of the knees will press into your mat. You'll sit up nice and tall. Toes pointed up, press yourself forward with your arms. I prefer this type of fold. Most of us are quite tight. If you can walk yourself forward um, with a fairly neutral spine, you might have a bit of a curve, that's fine. But what I want to avoid doing is this sort of idea. That's not actually going to stretch our glutes or our hamstrings better because it's down here that we've got a hinge from, not the mid back. So hands behind, press forward, gaze over the toes. So thank you so much for joining me. If you want workouts that are programmed by yours truly, and you want the tips and all the advice to live as fiercely as you can as we age, there's a couple of different places you can do that at. You can do it over on Over 50 Fitness, or you can join us on the Patreon group and um, help, keep a, help keep this channel going in, the meet, in, in addition. Having a hard time with my English. Anyways, there's uh, ways you can do so for both communities down there in the description. And release. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you in the next video. Bye. I had a spectator for today's workout. My girl, Bella. Hey, Bella B. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to Over 50 Fitness. Say hi to Patreon. Say hi to somebody. <laughs> and if you're wondering where the other hound dog is, he is hiding upstairs away from all of those mean lights. Hey, George. Huh? Hey, bud. It's very dark in here. Nobody can see you, George. There you go. Say hi to everyone, George. <laughs>